Thank you very much for joining me. I'm Brian Shields. The hurricane season starts on Thursday. Thank you for sharing this channel. I do it for safety. Thank you for spreading the word about it. I've got you covered through the season. Now we're watching two areas this week, one by the Bahamas, which may spin up into a subtropical storm or tropical storm. I'll dive into that. But look at the Central Caribbean. As expected, more rain and storms building up near Jamaica. We were talking about this together last week. And again, that's all coming true. Some of that moisture feeding in. We just had a tropical wave pass by Suriname, Guyana, and Trinidad and Tobago. Let me show you those. Let me broaden out the picture. Here's the Caribbean, Bahamas up here, and you can see out here lots bubbling up, but I do not expect any development out of these tropical waves, but we know tropical waves can give us flooding, even if they aren't a named system, so I'll watch them as they move in, but one in the Caribbean, three more tropical waves out there in the Atlantic, so through the week ahead, I'll be on top of these for you. I'll be watching these as these pull closer. Now out here, a big blob in the Eastern Pacific, not really seeing any signs of development out of that, but a sign that things are getting a little more active in the Eastern Pacific. So keep an eye on that side as well. All right, let me take you through it and what we're gonna see throughout the week, the flood threat and where there could be a storm trying to uh, develop. Now, this is today. Look at that moisture near Costa Rica, Panama feeding in. Honduras, Nicaragua will have some, uh, at least a chance of rain. Jamaica, Cuba, Cayman Islands, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, spotty showers and storms, still some wet weather parts of Guyana, Suriname, Trinidad and Tobago, passing showers, Dominica, St. Lucia, Barbados, Grenada, and uh, St. Vincent of the Grenadines. Now look at tomorrow, just what I was showing you, I think about four or five days ago. Look at things flaring up again, lots of moisture starting to build up here near the Cayman Islands. We need some rain, we'll have a better chance tomorrow. Maybe even get a few spotty showers, Belize and the Yucatan of Mexico. But this here in this, especially central and eastern Cuba, Jamaica, Cayman Islands, into Haiti and the Dominican Republic, that could give us some isolated areas of flooding. Please spread the word on that. Could see some higher river le levels for sure with this rain. Then by Wednesday, look what happens. Still lots of rain. Nicaragua scattered to widespread rain and storms. Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Cuba again, and then feeding toward the Turks and Caicos and Bahamas. Now at this point on Wednesday, that's when something subtropical may try to develop. I'm also watching here off the uh, coast of Barbados, east side as we get into the Atlantic waters, watching that next tropical wave getting closer. So again, as I mentioned, it is getting busy out there. Let me stop it on Thursday. Now, a couple of things on Thursday. So the potential of heavy and flooding rain near Jamaica, Cuba, Haiti, and the Dominican Republic. I'm giving you the early heads up. Again, the forecast will change some. Weather's not an exact science. I do the best I can, but there is going to be somewhere in here a very high chance of rain. With that, I'm giving the early heads up that we will see some flooding. I'm going to monitor that for you. And then up here, there could be a spin developing near the Bahamas, which may be tropical or subtropical in nature late on Thursday into Friday. That's where something may eventually develop. So I'm going to keep an eye in this area here late this week, kind of splitting Florida and Bermuda for the potential of a brief storm pos popping up. But regardless of that, regardless of if we have a named system, there's going to be a ton of moisture feeding in. That is going to be the concern. Of course, some spots still way too dry. We know how that's been, but others will be getting dumped on. Now, just through tomorrow night, the rain very spotty, nothing it's about 25 millimeters, generally Grenada North through Antigua and Barbuda, Anguilla, uh, Puerto Rico, some passing showers, a little bit more Trinidad, Guyana, and Suriname, where some spots could get over 50 millimeters. And this here through tomorrow, Haiti and the Dominican Republic, Jamaica, Cuba, will have some spots over 75 millimeters or three inches of rain. Things are going to start to build today, but especially tomorrow with that higher chance of rain, that's where we can see the flooding. If we get, see that white shading? If we get 100 millimeters of rain or four inches, we are going to have some flooding watching the DR, Haiti, Cuba, Jamaica, and on the edge of it in the Cayman Islands. Elsewhere, watching out for some downpours, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, parts of Colombia. Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire, we have been in between systems on the edge of it. That'll be the case again throughout the week ahead. Hopefully, we can at least squeak in a few showers. So let me take you through some forecasts, and then I want to talk about the upcoming hurricane season. Now, for today, a 20% chance of rain in Belize, a 30% chance tomorrow and Wednesday. We've had some showers around the last few days, just nothing widespread. That'll be the case again today. Rain chance will go up, especially tomorrow in the Cayman Islands. I showed you that blob of rain. More of it will be near Jamaica, but it is going to be nearby. So fingers crossed we get some rain as we work our way into the Cayman Islands. Swinging back toward Jamaica, look at tomorrow, the very high 80% chance of rain. 
areas of flooding, please, this is a weather community for you. Uh, put what you've got going on in the comments if you've got some flooding, or if you have nothing at all, put it in the comments. That way, other people, we could all kind of feed off of that, see what's going on where you are. Very important as things start to crank up as we get into the hurricane season. St. Martin, for example, 20, 30% chance over towards Saba of a passing shower or storm possible. 30% chance St. Lucia today, tomorrow, Wednesday, up to a 40% chance. And with more of those tropical waves headed in, rain chance will bump up slightly later this week. Grenada, the same thing. Thing, 30 to 40 percent chance of a passing shower or storm. Trinidad and Tobago, a 60 percent chance today, a 50 percent chance tomorrow, and a 50 percent chance as we work our way into Wednesday. Now, hurricane season, it starts on June 1st, just a few days away. An average hurricane season, there are 14 named storms, seven hurricanes, three major. Here's the deal. Regardless of if it's above average or below average, we do not know where the storms are going to go. That's why I'm here to track it for you storm by storm. I don't know where anything's going to be until something develops. It's an El Nino season. Usually the numbers could be a little bit down, but that doesn't mean we don't get big time hurricanes. So I will track it for you. That is my promise to you. So regardless of the actual numbers, I'll be tracking it storm by storm again. And thank you for sharing this channel. So rain chance going way up for some of us this week, monitoring the flooding and that possibility of a spin up near the Bahamas, subtropical or tropical storm could develop in tracking several tropical waves now out there hurricane season starting June 1st. So clearly a busy week. Tomorrow I'm going to be able to fine tune that flood threat for us further. Very important, especially by some of those rivers, streams, river crossings. I'll do my best to keep you posted. Have a good rest of your day.